Cambridge Latin Halls, Book One. Caecilius, Stage One. Caecilius. Familia, the family. Caecilius es pater. Caecilius is the father. Metella es mater. Metella is the mother. Quintus es filius. Quintus is the son. Grumio es cocus. Grumio is the cook. Clemens es servus. Clemens is the slave. Kerberus es canis. Kerberus is the dog. Caecilius es in tablino. Caecilius is in the study. Metella es in estinatrio. Metella es in atrio. Metella is in the main room. Quintus es in triclinio. Quintus is in the dining room. Clemens is in Hortio. Clemens is in the garden. Grumio is in Culina. Grumio is in the kitchen. Kerberus is in Via. Kerberus is in the street. Padre es in tablino. Padre in tablino scribe. The father is in the study. The father writes in the study. Mater es in atrio. Mater in atrio sedit. The mother is in the main room. The mother is sitting in the main room. Filius es in triclinio. Filius in triclinio vivit. The son is in the dining room. The son is drinking in the dining room. Servus es in horto. Servus in horto laborat. The slave is in the garden. The slave is working in the garden. Cocus es in culina. Cocus in culina laborat. The cook is in the kitchen. The cook is working in the kitchen. Canis es in via. Canis in via dormit. The dog is in the street. The dog is sleeping in the street. Vocabulary. Est. Is pater, father, mater, mother, filius, son, servus, slave, coquus, cook, canis, dog, in tablino, in the study, in natrio, the atrium. Main room. In triclinio, in the dining room. In horto, in the garden. In culina, in the kitchen. In via, in the street. Scribit.
is writing. Serit is sitting. Bibit is drinking. Laborat is working. Dormit is sleeping. Kerberus. Kakirius is in Hortu, Kakirius in Hortu said it, Servus is in Sinatrio, Servus in Natrio Laborat, Metella is in Natrio, Metella in Natrio said it, Quintus is in Tablino, Quintus in Tablino scribit, Kerberus is in Via. I'm going to read it for the second time. Kakirius is in Hortu, Kakirius. In hortu sedit, servus es in natrio, servus in natrio laborat. Metella es in natrio, metella in natrio sedit, quintus es in tablino, quintus in tablino scribit, kerberus es in via. Now I'm going to read it with translation in English. Caecilius is in Horto. Caecilius is in the garden. Caecilius in Horto said it. Caecilius is sitting in the garden. Servus is in atrio. The slave is in the main room. Servus in atrio laborat. The slave is working in the, in the main room. Metella is in atrio. Metella is in the main room. Mitele in atrio sedit, Mitele is sitting in the main room, Quintus is in tablino, Quintus is in the study, Quintus in tablino scribit, Quintus is writing in the study, Kerberus is in via, Kerberus is in the street, Caecilius had this mosaic of dog in the doorway of his house Intrat enters circumspect that looks around Cabus food food in mensa on the table salit jumps start stands stared it snooze Latrat, box, surgit, gets up, irratus, angry, pestish, pest, furkifer, scoundrel, clamat, shouts, exit, goes out, Cocus es in culina, cocus in culina, dormit, carberus intrat, carberus circumspectat, quibus es in mensa, canis salit, canis in mensa stat, grumius sertit, canis latrat, grumius surgit, cocus es iratus, pestis furcifer, cocus clamat. Carberus exit. I'm going to read it for the second time. Cocus es in culina, cocus in culina dormit, carberus intrat, carberus circumspectat, cebus es in mensa, canis salit, canis in mensa stat, grumius sertit, canis latrat, grumius surgit, cocus es iratus, pessis furcifer, cocus clamat, carberus exit. Now I'm going to read it with a translation in English. Cocus es in culina, the cook is in the kitchen. Cocus in culina dormit, the cook is sleeping in the kitchen. Kerberus intrat, the dog enters. Kerberus circumspectat, Kerberus is looking around. Cabus, quibus es in mensa, the food is on the table. Canis salit, the dog jumps. Canis in men says that the dog the dog is sitting or the dog is standing on the table Grumio started Grumio is snoring Canis Latrat the dog is barking or the dog's 
of the top box groom you surgit groom you gets up cocus esiratus the cook is angry pest is furkifer pest scoundrel cocus clamat the cook shouts Kerberus exit Kerberus goes out about the language Latin sentences containing the word est often have the same order as English for example metana est mater metana is the mother carnis est in via the dog is in the trees in other Latin sentences the order is usually different from that of English for example carnis in via dormit the dog is sleeping in the street Servus in culina laborat. The slave is working in the kitchen. Note that dormit and laborat, the sentences above, can be translated in another way. For example, servus in culina laborat can mean the slave works in the kitchen as well. The slave is working in the kitchen. The story will help you to decide which translation gives the better sense or the better sense. Practice in the language. Write out each Latin sentence, completing it with a suitable word or phrase from the box. Then translate the sentence. Use each word or phrase only once. For example, Es in hortu. Servus es in hortu. The slave is in the garden. These are the words to place it in the gaps. Quintus grumio caecius canis mater servus. Sentence A. Es in hortu. Es in the garden. Es in via. In the street. Es in culina. Es in the kitchen. Es in tablino. Es in the study. Es in natrio. Es in the main room. Es in triclinio. Es in the dining room. Clemens laborat. Clemens is working. Calcilius scribit. Calcilius is writing. Canis latrat. The dog is barking. Metella stat. Metella is standing. Quacus est. The cook is. Quintus est. Quintus is. We have to place these words in the gaps, in via, in the street, in horto, in the garden, in atrio, in the main room, in tablino, in the study, in culina, in the kitchen, in triclinio, in the dining room. Kai Kirius. Caecilius lived in Italy during the first century AD in the town of Pompeii. The town was situated at the foot of, of Mount Vesuvius on the coast of the Bay of Naples and may have had a population of about 10,000. Caecilius was a rich Pompeian banker. When archae archaeologists excavated his house, they discovered his accounts in strong box. These documents tell us that there was an auctioneer, a tax collector, a farmer, and money lender. He inherited some of his money, but he probably made most of it through shrewd and energetic business activities. He dealt in slaves, cloth, timber, and property. He also ran laundry and dine business graze sheep and cattle on pasture land outside the town and they sometimes won the contract for for collecting the local taxes. He may have owned a few shops as well and probably lent money to local shopping companies wishing to trade with countries overseas. The profit on such trading was often very large. Calcilius' full name was Lucius Calcilius Jucundus. Lucius was his personal name, rather like modern first name. 
A saint named Kaikiri who shows that he was a member of of a clan of the Kaikiri. Clans or groups of families were very important and strong feeling of loyalty existed within them. Kaikiru's third name, Yukundus, is the name of his own family and close relatives. The word the word Yukundus means pleasant. Just as in English we find surnames like Mary or Jolly or Jolly. Or only a Roman citizen would have three names, a slave would have just one, such as Clement or Grumio. As a Roman citizen, Caecilius not only had the right to vote in elections, but also was fully protected by the law against unjust treatment. The slaves who lived and worked in his house and his businesses had no rights of their own. They were his property, and he could treat them well or badly. As he wished, there was one important exception to, his, to this rule: the law did not allow a master to put slave to death without showing good reason. This head found in Kaikirius' house may be a portrait, portrait of him. Roman coins, bronze, sestertius, silver, denarius, and a gold. Aurius below Kakiris kept his tablets and money in a in a wood and metal strong box like this. This is one of the wooden tablets found in Kaikiri's house that recorded his business dealings. The writing was on a box in the central recess and when the tablets were discovered much of the writing could still be read. The tablets were tied together in twos or threes through the holes at the top. One page of the writing records the sale at an auction of slave. 6,252 Sester ceases Metella Caecilius wife Metella like many Roman wives and mothers had an important position in her home she was responsible for the management of the household and had to supervise the work of domestic slaves in order to run the house successfully, she would need to be well organized and firm but sensitive in her control of the slaves. She would also supervise preparation for social occasions and help her husband to entertain guests. Although their lives were mainly centered on their homes, married women would go out to visit friends to shop and to attend public events. Occasionally they managed their own businesses, although this was not common. Women hairstyle were often very elaborate. Many women were rich enough to own slave hairdressers. Heads broken off to happens. Umakia, Umakia, Pompeian businesswoman who built the cloth workers' guild hall in the forum. Houses in Pompeii, the house in which wealthy men like Caecilius lived, defend several way from the equivalent house today. The house came right up to the pavement. There was no garden or grass in front of it. The windows were few, small, and placed fairly high up. They were intended to let, to let in enough light, but to keep out the heat of the sun. Large windows would have made the rooms uncomfortably hot in summer and cold in winter. Most houses stood only one story high, although some had the same floor above, 
and many head shops on other side of the main door, which were rented out by the owner of the house. From the outside, with its few windows and high walls stretching all the way around, the house did not look very attractive or inviting. This is the plan of Pompeian House. Foul case entrance, entrance hall. Atrium main room. Cubiculum bedroom. Tablinum study. Peristudium. Garden court. Triclinium dining room. Culina kitchen. Latrina. Lavatory. Yanua front door. Impluvium. Puff of brain water. Larrarium, Shrine of the Household Gods, Summer, Triclinium, Shops. The ground plan of the house shows two parts, or areas of about equal size. They look like courtyards, surrounded by rooms opening off the central space. Let us examine these two parts more closely. The main entrance to the house was on the side facing the street, consisted of a tall double door. Landward, this door was Yanua. On passing through, through the door, through the door, through the door, the visitor came into a short corridor, which led straight into the main room, the atrium. This impressive room, which was used for important family occasions and for receiving visitors was large and high and contained little furniture. The roof sloped down slightly towards a large square opening in the middle. The light streamed streamed in through the opening high overhead. Immediately below was the impluvium, a shallow rectangular pool lined with a marble which collected brain water. One of the most striking things about the atrium was the sense of space, the high roof with the glimpse of the sky through through the central opening, the large floor area and the absence of much furniture all helped to give this impression. The furniture would include a bronze marble table, couch and perhaps a strong box in which the family valuables were stored in a corner. Near the main door was the Larrarium, a small shrine, small shrine, small shrine in which the family gods were worshipped. The floor of the atrium was paved with marble slabs or sometimes with mosaics. In what ways is this house typical of houses in Caecilius day? The at the atrium in Caecilius house, as it's today, we can see how special it was, but for a real sense of the dignity in atrium, we need to look at a better preserved one left. The visitor, the visitor entering the front door, would see beyond the impluvium, the tab- tablinum, and the sunlit peristudium beyond. Larrarium. The walls were decorated with panels of brightly painted plaster. The paintings were especially fond of red, orange, and blue. On many of these panels, there were scenes from well-known stories, especially the Greek myths. Round the atri- atrium were arranged the bedrooms, study, and dining room. The entrance to these rooms were usually provided not with wooden door but with a heavy curtain. From this first area of the house, the visitor walked through the tablinum, tablinum, study, or passage into the second part. This was the peristudium, which was made up of colonnade of pillars surrounding the hortus garden. Like the atrium, the colonnade was often elaborately decorated. Around the outside of the colonnade were the summer dining room, kitchen, lavatory, slaves, quarters, and storage rooms. Some houses also had their own set of baths.
The garden was laid out with flowers and shrubs and careful plan, and the small fish pond in the middle found threw up water and marble statues of gods and heroes to he here and there. In the peristerium, the members of the family enjoyed the sun, the sunshine or shade as they wished. Here they relaxed on their own or entertained their guests. The Pompeians not only lived in a in houses that looked very different from one ones but also thought very different about them. They did not expect their houses to be private places restricted to the family and close friends. Instead the master conducted the master conducted much of his business and social life from home. We receive and do business with most visitors in the atrium. The more important ones would be invited into the tabnino. The certain Certain very close business friends and high-ranking individuals would receive invitations to dine or relax in the peristudium with their family. Even if there were no outsiders present, the members of the family were never on their own. On their own, they were surrounded and often outnumbered by the slaves. They did not attach as much importance to privacy. As many people do today, only the wealthy lived like this. Most people lived in much simpler homes. Some of the poor were shopkeepers, for, for instance, would have had only a room or two above their shops. In large cities such as Rome, many people lived in blocks of flats, several stories high. Some of them in very poor conditions. Caecilius Sabrinum was decorated with particularly expensive shade of red paint, now mostly perished. A painting of a marble fountain in the garden, in a garden, in a garden. Betty Studium with the hanging ornaments between the columns. Very studium with a hanging ornaments between the columns. Vocabulary, vocabulary checklist. Canis dog, carcus cook. Est is filius san hortus garden. In in laborat. Work is working. Mater. Mother, pater, father, said it, sits, is sitting. Servus, slave, via, street. Thanks. Metella was very fond of jewelry. Here are some examples of the things she might have worn. Very beautiful jewelry. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, please comment in the comment section. Bye for now.